Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine, teacher. And you? I am okay. Thank you. Ready for today. The day before the last, right? Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Darwin. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you today? It's a little heavy. Because a little? Yesterday, dog work. A little heavy. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. So did you work yesterday? Yesterday, dog work. Ah, you didn't work? Uh, yes. Ah, okay, I see. Teacher, good evening. Estaré de oyente. Estoy en una reunión de trabajo todavía. Okay, thank you for informing, Nelson. Thank you. So basically, today is the last, not the last day, okay? The day before the last, el día antes del último día, okay? So it's the day before the last day of, of class for module one, right? So I hope you have a lot of energy today. <laughs> Great. Hello, Ada. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Thank you. Hi, Darwin. Hi, Osmin. Sorry that I said Darwin. Hi, Osmin. Hi. How are Hi. you today? Yes, uh, I have very good. Oh, you are very good. Excellent. Where are yes. you? Are you in your house or in the church? In the church. In the, the church. church. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. I, I feel that like you're in the church because of the of the background, for el fondo, because of the background. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay. Okay, we have other people connected, but they have their cameras off. We have Ophelia, Adriana, Nelson. Oh, Nelson is a listener. Rafa, Joanna. Good evening, Wood. teacher. Hello, Adriana. Adriana. Good evening. How do you feel, Adriana? Uh, fine. Fine. Ya mejorando. Me, yeah. Dolor que oh. no siento. <laughs> okay, excelente. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Are you going to participate in the class or not ready yet? Or todavía no está lista. Not ready yet. Eh, yes, teacher, pero no activo la cámara, teacher, porque mm, estoy en cama. It's okay. I understand. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Don't worry. Okay. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rafael? I'm fine. Oh, nice. Very good. Okay, we have other people connected. Let me see. Hello, Jansi. Lourdes, Joanna. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Are you ready for the good class? Good night, teacher. Good night, Lourdes, Joanna, and Jancy. Are you ready for the class? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Ready, excellent. Lourdes, are you ready for the class? Teacher, solo que no voy a participar la primera media hora porque voy a estar en una reunión ahorita. Okay, no problem. Okay, después me uno. Yes. Lourdes, are you ready? No, teacher, they, uh, they, uh, give me five minutes, please. Okay, okay, not a problem. Thank you. Okay. Rafael, are you going, are you ready for the class? Well, teacher, are, are, yes. Todavía no. No okay. yet. Okay. No yet. Sorry. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Miguel. Welcome. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, very good. Roses. Roses. Yeah. yeah, we are having a party in this moment. Excellent. <laughs> a beautiful <Okay>. party. <laughs> okay, teacher. I'm kidding. <clears throat> we are not having a, a party. Don't get too excited. <laughs> no te emociones mucho. Don't get too excited, okay? We, we are not having a party in this moment. <laughs> okay. So we are going to start then, and to start, I will pass the attendance, okay? So Ada Patricia? Present. Adriana? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Anna Michelle? 
Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Gloria. Here. Gloria. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Joanna. Present teacher. Lourdes. Present. Margarita. Mayra. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Ophelia. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Present. Okay, Rosa. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Present teacher. Ulma. Present. Okay. Asalia. Ingrid and Susana. Okay, very good. I can see many people are as listeners in this moment, right? Because they don't answer. Um, Nelson told me he's as a listener, okay? Nelson me dijo que va a estar como listener, como oyente. And also, uh, Joanna, she's in a meeting, she said, I think. Okay, good. So uh, we are going to start uh, today's class. And just before we start today's class, I, I have a question for everybody, okay? And the question is, uh, what did we study on Monday? What did you study on Monday? Can you tell me please? What did you study on Monday? Do you remember? The wheel. We studied wheel. the use of? The use of wheel. The use of wheel, exactly. The wheel is for the present, right? Or for the past? For the future. Ah, future. for the future, okay. We studied the use of wheel for the future, exactly. And I remember uh, that we use wheel for three different purposes. We use wheel for three different purposes, okay? Can you tell me the purposes, please, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, tell me, Angela. And you need to make the prediction. Okay, okay, only one, only one, Angela, only one. Okay, so we use wheel for predictions, okay? Prediction, yes. But okay, only one, only one, Angela, okay? He will, okay, okay, okay. for example, when you say, ah, <laughs> oh, it will rain today. It will okay. rain today, it's a prediction, right? Because you don't know, maybe it rains or maybe it doesn't rain. So yes. you say, it will rain today very good so it's a prediction okay so that's one purpose what is another purpose of using wheel a promise ah to make promises exactly to make promises okay i will be there at seven i will be there at seven teacher i promise i will finish my homework early tomorrow i promise i will finish my homework early i will finish so it's a promise you're making a promise okay yeah and i like these yeah. promises what is the other okay purpose number one is predictions purpose number two is promises and purpose number three the decision decisions for spontaneous decisions and what is a spontaneous decision is a decision in there in the in the moment, in the moment. moment. exactly it, a, a spontaneous decision it's a decision in the moment you are doing or speaking, doing something or speaking, right? For example, Jansi is carrying three boxes. She's carrying three boxes. And I am talking with Miguel and I say, oh, Miguel, wait, uh, I will help Jansi. Ah, it's a spontaneous decision, right? Yes? Oh, I will call my sister. I am talking uh, with Lourdes. And all of a sudden, de repente, all, de repente, all of a sudden, I remember that I needed to call my sister. And I say, oh, look at this, wait, I will call my sister. A spontaneous decision, right? A spontaneous decision, okay? 
Predictions, spontaneous decisions, and what is the other one? What, what era el otro? I, I forgot. Prediction and promises. And promises, right, and promises, good. Promises. So basically, uh, we use will for three purposes, okay? Three purposes. Another question. Um, what is the negative of will? What is the negative form of will? Want. I want or? Want. Will, will not. not. Will, will not. not. I say want or will not. Okay. Want or will not. Okay. Uh, teacher, um, I won't send the homework. I won't send the homework. Okay. I won't. Yo no, mandaré la, yo no mandaré la tarea. I won't send the homework. I will not send the homework. Okay. I won't get connected tomorrow. Or I will not get connected tomorrow. Okay. Pero como sé que todos se van a conectar, I'm just testing you. Okay. Okay, very good. So we studied the use of will. Did we study any vocabulary or only the use of will? Use will. Sorry? Only, only use will. Only the use of will. Okay, thank you very much. Now listen. Uh, today we are going to study the use of will and the use of present continuous for future. Okay, algunos estaban enviando ya algunos ejercicios ya de la, de la clase de hoy. And it's okay, I mean, you were completing the homework about today's class, and it's okay, no problem, okay? No problem. Now listen, ahí es que yo creo que yo me retrasé un poquito. I think I fell a little behind, okay? Okay, so, but today we are going to, we are going to study the difference between will and the present continuous for future purposes, for future purposes, okay? So then let's start the class. And to start the class, I have some, um, some discussion questions, okay? And, um, okay, let me show you. Okay, hold on a second. And in these discussion questions, I have two. Question number one is, what would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees? Imagine you are the manager or you are the boss, okay? So what would you do if you can't afford? What is afford? Yes, afford. What is afford? Do you remember? What is afford? Afford is like darse el lujo, okay? Darse el lujo de algo, okay? I can afford it. No puedo pagar por ello, no puedo darme el lujo, okay? I can afford it. So what would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive a training. So, ¿qué harías si no puedes darte el lujo de dar tiempo a tus empleados de recibir un, una capacitación? Okay? Yeah? Good. Then I have one answer here, but you can give your own answer. My answer is, I would look, in my case, right? I would look for the best ways to give them a space because this is very important, obviously, okay? But this is my answer. You can have a different answer. Question number two. Do you think online courses like e-learning are a good alternative option? I mean, if in case people don't have time, okay? Do you think online courses are a good alternative option? And I can say, of course, they can make their own space to work. People, right? Employees. So employees can make their own space to work on the training, okay? Yeah. Okay, so please take some minutes and try to answer the two questions. I'll give you like seven minutes to answer the two questions, okay? In case you have the manual, this is on page number 38, okay? Activity one.
Okay, are you ready or you need more time? More time, teacher, please. Uh, are two minutes okay for you? Two minutes or too little time? Three minutes? Two or three? Make a decision. Three, three minutes, all right. I'll give you three more minutes. Yes, three. That's the boss. Armando. Gabo. Gabriel. Me asustaste. Creí que era un murciélago aleteando. I'm sure to teacher, it puede ser yes do. Sorry, sorry. Answer two? Answer two, uh, puede ser yes, I do. Uh, yes, yes, of yes. course. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Although I, I would like you to give a little explanation, right? <laughs> you can explain why you think they are or they aren't a good alternative option, okay? You only can say me, maybe, okay, uh, yes, I do. Uh, because, and then you can give a little reason, okay? Okay. Maybe you can say, uh, yes, I do. Because uh, you can enter the training anytime, okay? Or you can work on the training uh, when you have time, I don't know, all right? Okay, I gave you the three minutes I said. Actually, I gave you three minutes and 15 <coughs> seconds. Okay? So let me give you the pronunciation for the questions. Question number one, the pronunciation is, what would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Let me repeat for you. What would you do if you can afford, if you can't afford, to give time away to your employees to receive training. Number two, do you think online courses, courses are a good alternative option? Alternative option. What would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Do you think online courses are a good alternative option? So in case you don't have the questions, these questions are on page number 38. Okay, now, what are we going to do with the questions, okay? So using the questions, you are going to go to a small groups and you are going to chair, okay? 
so to, to ask and answer the questions, okay? Yeah, so take turns asking and answering the questions, okay? It's like a little discussion, yeah? Any question? Any question? No questions? No, no okay, so let's go and discuss then. Let's go and discuss. What would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? I would, I would look at the way to give them the time because the training is important. Okay. Do you think online courses are good alternative option? Uh, I think it is it is an excellent option because the training can be done a different schedule. Yeah. Okay. Otra vez. What would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to recite training. It is important that all employees have the opportunity to be trained in different areas. Do you think online courses are a good <laughs> alternative option? Of course, because I see that this method facility in terms of time in working or that not affect the no, employees. Sí acuerdo, sí claro que sí. Okay, claro que sí. Because the training is very important for the employees and for the company. En español, eh, hacer el tiempo, porque el entrenamiento es muy importante para el empleado y para la compañía. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The second question. Do you yeah. think online yeah. courses are a good alternative option? Yes, I, 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 in my case, I think for me, it is, it is a good option because right now are in pandemic. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the answer. Okay. Ask right. the Susan. Right. All right. For Susan. What would you do if you can afford uh, to give time away to your 
employees to receive training? Okay, I would implement dynamic training, the training option to generate motivation. Right. Generate. 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 Yeah. Continue. Generate motivation. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, second question. Mm, do you think online calls are a good alternative option? According to the situation, it is the best option. Okay. <laughs> How do you say refrigerio in English, teacher? Snack, snack, no. no. Yeah, you can say snack. <laughs> There's no snack. A virtual snack. A virtual snack. So you can go and have a coffee two minutes. <laughs> in the home, don't have a snack. Well, actually, that would be on your own in these kind of situations, right? <laughs> what do you say, recreo? Break. I break, nada más, así. Yeah, you, you can have a little break and, and then you can have a coffee and bread or I don't know, so, uh, a drink, any kind of drink. <laughs> a little sandwich? Yeah, a little sandwich, maybe cookie, all right? <laughs> nachos. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. I, <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know it's not the same. I was just kidding. <laughs> we are connected on the meeting line. It, it's not and burritos and the horchata drink. We finish. See? Okay. What would okay. you do is you can afford to grill Thai always. Do your employees to receive training, Selma? I will look other alternative for give them a training, asking for the for the best way for or the best way for day. Okay. Uh, second, do you think online calls are your alternative option, Selma? Yes, it is. Uh, they could take a training when they have time. Okay, thank you so much. Le pregunto otra vez si quieres, Sandra. Okay. Bye. What would you do if you can afford to give the to give time away to your employees to receive a training? Of course. Uh, I think it's very important to employees that they since it is very important for a better development of their work and benefit the company. Okay. Do you think an uh, online course are a good alternative option? Yes. The online, the online course came to give more opportunity to people who do not have much time to train. And also, it is a big tiring. Each one makes their time. Okay. okay. Course, course or courses? Cor courses. Courses, right? Courses, all right? Do you think courses. online courses? Courses, okay. So okay. did you finish? Okay. No, no. Uh, As yet. All right. I Gloria, asked, I you asked yes. okay. uh, me. Yes. What, what do you, well, what would, pardon, 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 pardon. what would you do if you can afford to give time away to, to your employees to receive training? Okay, I will try to able to provide the necessary time. Okay, do you think online calls are a good alternative option? Definitely. 
since each person could, da, could choose the schedule that best suits them. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Okay. Sweet My or turn. suit? <coughs> Sweet or suit? Sweet. Suit? I, I don't know. I, I, is, yes. Is sweet. No, suit. sweet. Okay. Sweet is from a hotel. You say suit. Suit them. Suit them. I had a best suit, suit them. All right. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Michelle. Michelle, you are ready? Yes. Okay. What would you do if you can, can't afford to give time away to your employees to recite training? Okay. In my case, I will try to find a space uh, so that they can receive the training. And I think that a good option is to create groups and uh, uh, rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. They rotate. So, uh -huh. so they can receive the training. Okay, okay. Second question. Do you okay. think online courses are good, a good alternative option? <clears throat> yes, of course. I think uh, the same that Asalia <laughs> uh, in this time is the best way to receive a training. Excellent, excellent. For our instances. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. So, yeah, just any. She doesn't sleep. She only says good night, okay? But she doesn't <laughs> sleep. Good night, teacher. <laughs> you see. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, um, all right. Well, I know you discussed uh, the question. So uh, for this activity, we are not going to share here in the main session, okay? Because I know that you share with your classmates, okay? And for me, that's enough. You practice the answers and the questions, okay? So thank you very much for practicing, okay? For answering and asking the questions, yes? I just want to focus on pronunciation of some things in the questions, okay? Uh, in English, you say receive, okay? Receive, not recite, is receive, okay? Receive, receive is like receive, right? Receive, okay? You say courses, courses, because it's plural, right? In singular, you say course, but in plural, you say courses, okay? In plural, courses. Okay, very good. Now, thank you very much. Now, please, because I know that everybody participated. So go to reactions and give yourselves a heart. Desen un corazón todos. Give yourselves a heart, okay? Because I know you practiced, yeah? And if you don't give the heart, it's because you didn't practice, okay? <laughs> yeah, everybody practice, I know. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. So let's go to the next activity. So look, in the next activity, uh, we have uh, uh, this conversation, okay? So in the next activity, we have this conversation. So please take a moment and read it. And then I will ask you questions, okay? So take a moment, read it, and then I will ask you some questions. Luego les haré unas preguntas. I will ask you some questions, okay?
Okay, now listen, um, the same, please. I will ask you the questions, okay? In case you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand. In case, uh, well, if you have the answer, just raise your hand and say it, right? Yeah, so the first, the first person to raise the hand, we have the opportunity to share the answer, okay? So please, don't, just don't only give the answer, go to reactions, please. Okay, question number one. Question number one, who has a conference tonight? Who has a conference tonight? Okay, Sandra. Sandra, okay, Sandra, who has a conference tonight, Sandra? Julia. Julia, that's right. Julia has a conference tonight. Okay, thank you very much. Now lower your hand. Bajen a mano, lower your hand. Question number two. Um, when is Felix having a training? When is Felix having a training? Let's quit. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, uh, let's see, Miguel. So when is Felix having next a week. training? The next, next week. week, that's right, next yes. week. Okay, thank you very much. Next question. Um, what option is best for Julia? What option is best for Julia? On-site or online training? On-site or online training? On-site yes. is like presencial, right? Or online training? So I will yeah. repeat the question. What option is best for Julia, on-site or online? Mayra, do you have the answer? Yes, the best option is online. Online, that's right. Okay, it's online. Thank you very much. Okay, lower your hand, please. Next question. Um, what training is Julia taking? What training is Julia taking? What is the training she's taking? Okay, uh, okay, Mayra participated. Let's give the chance to somebody else. Oh, lower this, okay? So lower this. Uh, what training is Julia taking? Um, kitchen safety procedures. Exactly, kitchen safety procedures. Procedures. Thank you. Procedures. Thank you very much, lower this. Next question. Um, where does Felix have to take the training? Where does Felix uh, have to take the training? Or where, where will Felix take the training? Where will Felix take the training? Where? Okay, Rosa. In another city. Ah, that's right. He has to travel to another city. So the training is in another, another city. city. Okay, that's right. And the last question. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, is Julia taking an online course? Is Julia taking an online course? Yes. Raise yes. your hand. <laughs> Please. In this moment, is Julia taking an online course? Ana Michelle, is Julia taking an online course? Yes. Yes, she is. That's right. Yes, she is. Thank you very much, Ana Michelle. Very good. Okay, thank you for your participations. Okay. Now, please, everyone, go to reactions and give them a wow. Okay, so go to reactions and give them a wow, okay, for their participations. Yeah. So this is reading. Okay, this is reading. This is reading comprehension. The conversation is short, but the idea is to read and to understand what you read, okay? So it's reading comprehension. Okay, let's go to the conversation again. And this time, this time, let's pay attention to pronunciation, okay? So I will pronounce the conversation twice. So listen, please. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from, ho from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. 
I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Listen again. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options, options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Conference, conference, conference. Safety, procedures, e-learning, e-learning, another city, busy. Sounds, sounds like you will be busy. From home, from home, we'll ask, we'll ask. Look at the time, look at the time tonight. Okay, so this conversation is on page number 38. Page number 38. So I will give you like three minutes, okay? So in three minutes, just practice the conversation only, okay? So in this part is pronunciation. So please pay attention to good pronunciation okay make sure you pronounce the conversation not good very well okay very well like very well yeah okay so let's go then and practice the conversation i think we are going to go in pairs so let me make different groups all right let's go Adriana. No tengo pareja. Okay, so but are you going to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me send someone with you. Okay. Teacher, you may go. I'm sorry. The, the problem is that Adriana is alone, so you can practice with Adriana. That's why I got you out. Oh. I'm sorry. Hi, Miguel. Okay. Hi, hi, Adriana. How do you do? Hi, and you? Okay. Fine. Let me share my screen. I shared oh, the screen in another group. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you see my screen, Adriana? Yes. Excellent. Your first, I first. Okay, uh, me first. Excellent, go ahead. I'm having a training next week, but I, I, uh, but, I, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm talking on a learning training on kitchen safety procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at time. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at conference tonight. See you later. Okay. Okay, exchange roles. I first. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be bossy. I thank you in e-learning training of kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but, but I can't take it from home. Cool. 
I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at conference tonight. See you later. Easy. Okay. Busy. Busy. Sounds like you will be busy. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Share roles. You're first, Adrian. Okay. Uh, Rafa, Rafa no va a participar. Right? Con lo que es, I think he's busy. I think you think he's busy. Okay. I think Rafa busy. is busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Adriana, you're, you're next. You're first. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I am meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. I start. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedure this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. See you. Dwarf Felix? Yes. Um, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I am meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Again? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Something like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So we are going to listen to three pairs, okay? So we are going to listen to three pairs. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's listen to, um, let's see, let's see. Let's listen to Floor. Okay, Floor, who is your pair? Floor, who and is an and Angie and Darwin. Darwin, select one, please. Angie or Darwin? Angie. Okay, so practice with Angie, please. And the rest, let's listen, please. <clears throat> okay. Okay. You start. Me? Yes. Okay, I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training of kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool, I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. See you later. Great, thank you very much. Good pronunciation, oh my goodness. Thank you. All right, let's listen to another pair. So this time let's listen to um, a boy, right? Yeah, so let's listen to Osmin. Osmin, who is your pair? Yeah, Jansi. Jansi, all right. So let's listen to okay. Jansi and Osmin. Okay. I'm having, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. So like you will be busy, I'm taking an e-learning training from, from kitchen. So pretty, pretty 
procedures de, this week. But, but I can take I from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look, look at the time. I'm meeting some friend at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Thank you, Osmin and company and Jansi. All okay. right, thank you very much. And let's listen to Alas Payer. Okay, so Osmin, who do you want to listen to? Again, quieres escuchar? Who do you want to listen to, Osmin? Ralph. Who? Rose. Ralph. Ralph. Ah, Ralph. Uh, Ralph yeah. was not practicing. I'm sorry. Rose. West. Rose. Rose. Okay, Rose then. All right. Let's listen to Rose. All right. Rose, who is your pair? Rose? Lourdes. Okay. Let's listen to Lourdes and Rose. <laughs> okay. Are you start, Rose? Yes. Yes, you start. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay, thank you very much, okay? So thank you uh, to the pairs for their participation, okay? Thank you for being brave and participative, okay? Thank you very much. So please, everyone, go to reactions and let's give them a tada, okay? All right. Thank you very much for your participations. Oh, I see some Santa classes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Christmas is closed, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much for your Santa classes, for your taras, and for your, I don't know what the meaning of the other emoji is, one with glasses. Okay, uh, thank you for your participations. Now, uh, quickly, just try to remember information for the conversation, okay? And tell me, sentence number one, how can you complete sentence number one? Using information from the conversation. Checklist. Sorry? Checklist. Yeah, in this part, how can we complete the sentence using information from the conversation? Number one. I'm having. I'm having. I'm having. Exactly, exactly. I'm having. I'm having a training next week. I'm having a training next week. Teacher, pero ese es presente continuo y el presente continuo se usa para acciones en el momento. Okay, hold on a second. We are going there, okay? Number two, how can you complete sentence number two? I'm training. Sorry? I'm, I'm, I'm training. I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking, I'm taking exactly. Yes. I'm taking a new learning training on kitchen safety procedures. Okay, thank you very much. Number three? Blocks. I will, I will ask, ask. I will for ask for e-learning options next time. I will ask. Okay, very good. And the last one, number four. I am meeting. Sorry. I am meeting. I am meeting. I am meeting some friends at a conference tonight. Okay. Yeah. Basically, that's it. Okay. Uh, this will be part of the of today's topic. Good. But now one activity before we go to today's topic. And let me pass the attendance before we go to today's topic, okay? Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Excellent. Joanna? Joanna? Present, All right. Lourdes? Present. Margarita? Mayra? Present. Miguel? 
Present teacher. Razón. Ofelia. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Here, teacher. Excellent. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Present. Tulma. Present. Azalia. Present teacher. Ingrid. En Susana. Present. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Solo que antes de que vayamos a la actividad, ahorita veo que está conectada, están conectados. Bueno, la mayoría están conectados, ¿ok? Eh, solo que algunos tienen cámara apagada. Ingrid, no sé si va a trabajar. Um, Joana, she said she was coming. Solma, ok, Rafael. Ok, muy bien. Bueno, solo Adriana sí dijo que la iba a tener apagada por, por algunas razones. Ok. Bueno, y Ofelia creo que escribió un mensajito también, ¿verdad? Y Joana que dijo que tenía algo. Sí, es dicho. Ok, thank you. Ok, uh, muy bien. Solo eh, rápidamente. Me imagino que este día ya recibieron la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok. Yes, teacher. Muy yes, bien. Teacher. Entonces solo quiero tomar un espacio para recalcar la importancia siempre de que la encuesta de satisfacción es el último día de clases. ¿Y cuándo es el último día de clases? Mañana. Así que mañana todos deben estar conectados para que podamos completar la encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Ok? Porque se hace, el lineamiento es que se hace con su facilitador, en este caso con mi persona. Así que por favor mañana todos conectados. ¿Ok? Yo sé que la mayoría se conectan todos los días. Si no es que todos. ¿Ok? Pero mañana sí todos debemos estar conectados para que podamos completar la encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Ok? Así que solo pedir siempre de favor que no se me adelanten. Se completa en el momento. ¿Ok? Se completa en el momento. Así que no se me adelanten, por favor. ¿Ok? Mañana la vamos a completar. Y aparte de eso, también hacer el recordatorio de las tareas. Mañana es último día, así que mañana, antes de terminar la sesión, tener tareas completas, por favor. ¿Ok? Haber completado tareas. Okay, so uh, only that. Okay, so thank you very much. Now let's go to thank the next you. activity. Okay, no problem. Let's go to the next activity. So look, in the next activity, uh, we have some training solutions, okay? We have some training solutions and we have some descriptions, okay? Uh, for example, we have of the shelf training courses, of the shelf training courses, we have in-house training. We have shadowing and mentoring. Okay, we have some uh, descriptions here. Okay, so please, you are going to work in groups. The idea is that in groups, you decide uh, on the solution, on the training solution for the description, okay? And you put the number here. For example, if you think for number one in-house training is the, the training solution, so you put number one on this space, okay? But it depends, I'm just giving you an example, yeah? So the idea is to match the training solutions with the descriptions. Page number 38, página 38. Any question? Oh, teacher. No, okay, so we are going to work in groups for this activity, all right? Yes, teacher. So we are going to make uh, bigger groups for this activity. Okay, let's go to work.
Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería? En ese? El número tres. El número tres sería eh, seguimiento, ¿sí? Sí, se ve bien. Ajá. Sí, ¿verdad, Sandrita? ¿O qué le parece a usted, Sandrita? Shadowing. Shadowing. Ajá, sí, seguimiento. Yes. Ok. Número tres. Eh, vamos a ver, el segundo dice. Cursos genéricos más baratos. El personal se unirá a los empleados de otras empresas en curso. Después lo digo en inglés, teacher. <ríe> Algunos de estos cursos están diseñados para lograr o contar para una calificación reconocida en particular. Y vuelvo a decir lo mismo. Cursos de capacitación listos para usar, capacitación interna y mentoría. No menciono el 3 porque ya... Vamos, claro. Training courses. Course. ¿Cuál, cuál se? La, la primera, la número uno. Of the church training sí. courses. Cursos. Ajá. Cursos de capacitación listos para usarse. Se trata de que un empleado. Es... No. Cursos genéricos más baratos. Ok. El number one, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, vamos con la otra, que es la tercera, dice, sí. implica la transmisión informal de conocimiento y, y capital social durante un periodo de tiempo con algunas reuniones presenciales, uso de correo electrónico y comunicación telefónica. Es fundamental tener un mentor. Men Sería mentor. la cuatro, ¿verdad? Sí. Mentoría, o sea, yeah. mentoring, ok, oh, cuatro. Queda el último, el número dos. Definitivamente, que vamos a ver qué decían en, en Spanish. Sí. Permite a las personas aprender en su propio lugar y aplicar nuevos conocimientos de inmediato. Oh, ya lo hice, mira, ya lo hice. El entrenador debe ser técnicamente capaz de realizar la tarea y tener paciencia para enseñar o entrenar. Ok, number two, house training. Ajá. Uh, capacitación interna, ok. Me parece. Hi, teacher. Hello, very ready. quickly. Ready. <laughs> We're ready. Yes. All right, so you can take a moment to pronounce if you want, ok? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. To take advantage of time because some some class some classmates are still working. Okay. Okay, teacher. Tell me. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Two words. Two words. Two words. Two words. Count two words. A particular organized qualification. Two words. Mm -hmm. Two words. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Me, me first. Okay. The practice. I am. Uh, shadowing. It involves an employee. Otro. El, el tutoría, o sea, es así, mentoring. Ajá, es como el facilitador. Así es. Sí, o el bien. entrenador. Ajá, entonces. It involves involves on one employee follow. Vaya, entonces number one sería shadowing. Shadowing. Yes. Okay. In number okay. number two. Uh, uh, number one. Mentoring. Uh -huh. Me, eh, number one. Number one. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Mm. Ok. No, no, no. Ahí se está mal. A este. Porque en la número dos sería. Sharper, ¿verdad? Tendría que ser el número. Number three. 
number number three. Mm -hmm. No, it's the first um, number three. Sí, eso es lo que les acabo de decir. La uno es shadowing. Yes. La uno sería number, shadow. Number, number one, one is number, number one is, is shadowing. <laughs> yes. Sorry, teacher. Se me olvida que usted está ahí. Digo, se me olvida hablar en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> en number two. ¿Cómo sería? Sería, teacher. Mentoring. Number Mm. La yes. palabra sería. Mm, sería. I think mentoring is different. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't think number two would be mentoring. I think number two is different. Uh -huh. What do we have para, number one? Number one, three. Number one, you have? Three? Three? No. What word do you have in number one? Tell me the word. ¿Qué palabra tienen? What word do you have in number one? Ah, este curso Shadow. este shadowing. Shadowing, it's okay. Number one, mm -hmm. it's okay. What do you have in number este. two? One. No, tell me, me the one. word. Tell me the word. Ah, Dígame tell me the word. Ah, este official. Ah, of the shelf courses. Yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. Of the shelf courses, it's okay. It's okay, verdad? Yeah, that's and right. Number three. In number three. Uh, two uh, in house training. Three. What do you have for for description number three? Uh -huh. In house training. Mm. There you have a mistake, I think. Mentoring. Four. Uh -huh. I will be four. mentoring. Exactly. Mentoring. mentoring. Uh -huh. right. four. Will be mentoring. Number, four. Number four okay. is in house training. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Entonces, eh, ser, sería three, one, or two. Okay. Yes. Exactly. It's correct. <laughs> number three would be mentoring. And number four, in house yes. training, as you said. Como lo dijeron ahorita, as you said, in this moment. Uh -huh. Thank yeah. you very much, teacher. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now practice, you can practice if you want. You can practice the words and the definitions, okay? So just okay. take turns. Solo tomen turnos. Okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, yes, Alia. Cheers. <laughs> uh, in it involves one employee following another employee like a shadow to learn learn all the aspects of agile. It is especially sweetly for new employees as part of their induction. Ocean shadowing. Okay, uh, next. Sherpa generic courses. The staff will join employees from other business of businesses. Course, businesses. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or, con, or count toward a particular recognized quality, qualification. Uh, um, number one of the shelf training course. Okay, the mentoring. It in, involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings use of email and telephone okay. 
Okay, um, I hope everyone finished, okay? I really hope everyone finished uh, with the descriptions, okay? So uh, just before you share, I will give you the pronunciation of the descriptions, okay? I will give you the pronunciation of the descriptions, yeah? So let's see the pronunciation of description number one. Not the word, the description only, okay? So listen. Well, first let's pronounce the, the, the training <laughs> solutions, okay? Uh, so the pronunciation for the training solutions first. Number one, off the shelf training courses. Off the shelf training courses. Number two, in-house training. In-house training. Number three, shadowing. 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 Mentoring. Mentoring. Now listen to the descriptions. Let's go to this one. It involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow, to learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction. Number two, hyper genetic courses. The staff will join employees from other businesses on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or count towards a particular recognized qualification. Number three, it involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. And the last one, it allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. The trainer must be technically able to do the task and have the patience to teach or coach. Okay, let's see. We are going to listen number, to number one. Okay, Angela will give number one. Number two, Gloria. The descriptions, right? I'm talking about the descriptions, okay? Description okay. number one, Angela. Description number two, Gloria. Description number three, Azalia. And description number four, Miguel, okay? So let's listen to number one. So you say the word and the description. Of the twelve training course, um... Shaper generic course, the staff will join employees from other business on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or course toward a particular record missile qualification. Okay, Angela, uh, description number one, okay? Description ah, number ah, one. Okay, 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 okay. Word, okay. Description number one. If it involve, involves one employee following another employee, employee, like a child to learn all the aspects of a job, this especially suitable for new employees as part of the Induction, induction. What training solution? Uh, number three, um, shadowing. Okay, so for number one, okay, thank you very much, Angela. So for, for description number one is number three, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Shadowing. All right, so let's okay. listen to number two. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, teacher. Number two. Interpret genetic course, the staff will join employees from the other business on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or count towards a particular recognizer qualification. It's number one of the shelf training course. Okay, so we have number one. Okay, so number one is correct. Thank you very much, Gloria. So off the shelf courses, right? Training courses. Let's listen to number three. 
It involves the informal trans transmission of knowledge and social capital over a, a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. It is uh, mentoring. Number four, mentoring. Okay, so you have number four, mentoring. Okay, thank you very much, Asalia, it's correct. Okay, it's mentoring. And let's listen to the last one. Okay, it's allow people to learn in their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. The trainer must be technically able, able, technically able to do tasks and, ha and have the patient to teach or coach. This is the number two. Okay, read it. <laughs> okay, read it, Miguel. Read number two. In okay. House training. In house. Training. In house. In house training. training. Sorry. In sorry. house training. It's okay. In house training. In okay. house training. Okay, so that's correct. Okay, thank you very much. So in the answers, we have them like this, okay? Creo que este ejercicio les aparece en la plataforma, right? Yes? Yes. So you have the answers, okay? So you can go and complete afterwards. You can go and complete afterwards. Okay. Now. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? In the exercise. Yeah. What if the, in, the, in the third paragraph, you say use of email and telephone communication? Is yeah. no be in house training? Okay, let, let me let me show it to you again. I am confused. I'm sorry. It's okay, no problem. So um for a number for this for a description number. Number three. Description number three. Paragraph number three, yes. Yes, but you have the word mentor. It's essential to have a mentor at the end so the the the, the word is mentoring so the the right uh the right training solution is mentoring okay for number three it is essential to have a mentor okay so you have the clue esa la pista that's the clue okay all right i, I think different but okay <laughs> okay very good okay uh very good now now listen, uh, for the next activity, I need full attention, please, okay? Because esta era la discusión que se tenía ahora en el grupo, okay? De si qué ponemos, qué pasa aquí, what's the problem here, all right? Just pay attention here, and this will, will explain, okay? The difference between using the present continuous and will for future purposes, okay? So please pay attention carefully here, pay attention. Carefully. Okay, let me show you. Okay. Uh, now we have it here. So basically, here we have the difference between uh, we have the difference between will and the and the um, in the present continuous. Okay, for future purposes. So first we have will. Okay, and on Monday. I explained that we, we 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 use sorry on Monday. I explained that we we use will for three different purposes. Okay, and we said it at the beginning of the class. What is the first purpose of uh, of will? Predictions, right? So the first purpose is predictions. Then we said that this word spontaneous offers. Promises or Promises. decisions, okay? Yeah, I will do it for you. I will do it for you. Yo lo haré por ti. A spontaneous offer. Una oferta espontánea, okay? I will do it for you. So I use will. Promises? And I said, teacher, I promise I will do the homework. Decisions? Mm, I think I will go to San Miguel tomorrow. 
I think I will go to San Miguel tomorrow, a decision, right? Yeah, and we have three examples. Example number one, I will help you with the documents. What is this? A spontaneous offer, a promise, or a decision? What is, I will help you with the documents. A spontaneous offer, a promise, or a decision? Yes, yes, what is that? Promise. Is that? Mm. I will decision. help you with the documents. Decision. Is that? Decision. Promise. Okay, promise. okay promise. so it can be a, a spontaneous decision, okay? Could be a decision. Good. They will ask about e learning options. What is this? They will ask about e learning options. Offer. No, it's not an offer. Ellos preguntarán acerca de opciones de aprendizaje. Ah, decision. decision. Is that decision? Mm, I don't think so. It's a prediction. It's not a prediction. It's a prediction. All right. Prediction. It's a prediction. Mm -hmm. And the last one. We will be on time, teacher. Tomorrow we will be on time, teacher. What is that? It's, it's a promise, right? Promise. It's, a, it's a promise. All right. So we have the use of will for different purposes. Okay. But we started this. Now let's focus on the present progressive. Maybe one thing to remember. In the present, in the present progressive, we use the verb to be, okay? So we use am, um, is, yes. and, R. and are. And we use a verb, y usamos un verbo, we use a verb with ing, usamos un verbo con ing, we use a verb with ing, right? So that's important here, okay? Frequently, we use the present continuous for actions in the moment or for actions in progress. For example, I am speaking English in this moment, present continuous. Miguel is paying attention thoroughly. Ah, it's an action in this moment. Susana is taking English classes these days. It's an action in progress, okay? It's not an action in the moment, right? So these days, estos días. She is taking English classes these days. Now listen. But here we are going to use the present continuous not for momentaneous situations and not for uh, actions in progress. We are going to use it for, for plans, for arrangements, okay? For plans, for plans that have been made, para planes o arreglos que ya han sido hechos, okay? Que ya los tengo en mente, I have it in mind, and I have the plan already. Ya tengo el plan. Okay? Now, the manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. He has a plan. Él ya nos dijo. He told us already, okay? So I know, and it's a plan. So the manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. Tomorrow, maybe, or next week. Yeah? Next, the servers are having a training this weekend. Ya está planeado. El, la capacitación ya está planificada, okay? So you say... The servers are having a training this weekend. Estructura, presente continuo, porque ya hay un plan. We have a plan, okay? Or the servers have a plan. The last no tiene one. Nada con will, teacher. Sorry? No, no tiene nada que ver con will, le digo. No. Que... Maybe the, 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 the similarity is that they are used for future. Will and the present progressive, in this case, we use them for future. The difference is that when we use the present progressive, we have plans. Ya hay un plan específico, okay? We have a plan, yeah? So that's the difference. We have a plan. And when we use will, we don't have a plan, okay? The last example, he is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m., all right? Ya nos dijo que va a ir y ya lo tiene agendado. He has an arrangement, okay? So he's meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. Ya tiene un plan, ya está agendado eso, okay? But when I don't have a plan, cuando no hay un plan, ¿qué voy a usar? Will. When I don't have a plan or an arrangement, an arrangement, I use will, uso el will. So do we have, do you have any question? Do you have any question? 
No teacher. Yeah, I think it's clear, right? Yes. Teacher, I say I am helping with the document in another context. Can you repeat it, please? I say I I am helping with the document. No. Helping. Helping. With a present with a present progress. I am helping. In, in, in another context, because, yes, because yes. I explain. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, imagine, I mean, because here the, the situation is that it's for future plans, okay? For future plans, para plan de futuros o arreglos, okay? Or arrangements. <coughs> so imagine you have a plan that you are going to help Angela tomorrow. Tú ya tienes un plan de que vas a ayudarle a Angela con, con algo mañana y ya le dijiste. So you can say, I am helping Angela with the documents tomorrow. I am helping. Angela with the documents tomorrow because you 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 talk to Angela and you said Angela I am going to help you tomorrow okay so you have a plan so you can say I am helping Angela okay it's any other question any other question no no, no questions thank you no teacher no all right very good Por lo demás, I will say this in Spanish, okay? Por lo demás, lo que tienen que recordar en el presente progresivo es que para ponerle ING a los verbos, jugamos con algunas reglas, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Recuerdan? ¿Con qué reglas, por ejemplo? With the... When the verb finish with... Uh, why you change the word by, by ing? Mm, interesting. Um, mm -hmm. no. Esa regla aplica para el pasado simple, que si, si el verbo termina en y, le quitamos la y y le ponemos ied para el pasado, right? Pero para el presente continuo, esa regla no va a aplicar. Si el verbo termina en y, solo le agregamos ing. Por ejemplo, study. Study, studying. Study. Ajá, no le quitamos la Y. Try, yes. trying. No le quitamos la Y, solo le ponemos fly, la ING. Fly, okay? flying. Uh -huh, yes. Exactly. It's fly, flying. Yes. yes. Okay. Esa regla es para el pasado, Ros. But yes. thank you for the reminder. Okay? okay. Thank you very much. So, do we have a rule or we don't have rules? No tenemos reglas entonces. Sí, teacher. It's Sorry? Right. Eh, cuando termina en, en IE, entonces. Solo le pone la, la que conocemos como Y. ¿Cuándo termina en? En, en dos vocales, I, E. I, E. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. Mmm, yo le digo. Li, lie. Lie. Uh, what do we do? ¿Qué hacemos en ese caso? What do we do? I, 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 I put eh, ING. Pero antes la I, griego. Exactly. So le quito la I y la E, ¿verdad? Y le, y le pongo la Y, más ING. Sí, yes, es, una, es, mono, es monosílaba también. Yes, exactly. So that's one. Ok, esa es una. That's one. Thank you, Osmin. That's very yeah. good. Ok, do we have another one? Si termina en E, ¿qué hago? For example, write. Write finish or dance. So what do I do in this case? Erase, erase the E. And add e and D. Exactly. And so I erase le, le, le borro la I erase the, okay. the letter E. e. Dance, for example, okay? So I say, for example, I say dancing. 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 Okay. And what Miguel what, uh, Osmin is saying. If I have the verb lie, what do I do? Lying. I say lying. Le quito la IE y le pongo Y. And I say yeah. lying. Okay? Imagine I have the verb. Um, let me see. Let me give you one here that is very common. Teacher. A, yes? When the verb is consonant, vowel in consonant, double a dot the last consonant, the last consonant and add I and D. For example, fit. Fit or put. Fit. Feeding, right? Mm -hmm. Good. 
Pudding. Pudding. All right. So le duplico la consonante. Put pudding. Why? Because we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. Porque tenemos consonante vocal, consonante. Okay. Another, another example. Swim. Swim. Swimming. Right. So we double the M. Le duplicamos la M. We double the M. Estas reglas no las iba a explicar, pero solo es para recordar un poquito. It's just to remember a little bit. And I think it was a good idea to remember. Y creo que fue una buena idea recordarlo y refrescarlo and to refresh it, okay? So please remember that. Keep that in mind. Mantengan eso en mente, okay? Keep that in mind. So do we have any questions or it's clear now? Everything clear? Stop, stop, stop it. What? Yeah. Sorry? Stop. Ah, stop is the same. Stop stopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, but stop is not uh, used with ing very often. Ese no se usa con ing muy a menudo. Okay? It's not used yeah. with ing very often. Okay? So thank you very much. Now, please, we are going to work on an exercise. And the exercise will be a little complicated. Okay? Okay, just give me a moment. Now, listen. Um, here, on page number 39, we have one exercise. Okay? And on the exercise, you need to complete using, using either will or the present progressive. Applying the explanation, okay? Aplicando la explicación, vamos a usar will o el present progressive, que sería? Con ing, okay? The verb to be with ing, yeah? So any questions? So you have six examples. You have six sentences. Tienen seis oraciones. You have six sentences. It's clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. So what do you prefer? To work individually or to work in groups? Groups, teacher. In groups. You like working no in groups, right? Dormir. <laughs> okay, let's work in groups, but with a different group. Puedo dormirme yo sola, teacher. Oh, please. Okay, let's go to working groups. Page 39, okay, página 39, page 
Okay. Bueno, si quieres pronunciamos. Ok. I okay. start or you start? You start. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ok. Number okay. one. Number one, letter A. Would you like some time to drink? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Okay, number two. I can't come with you on Sunday. I am having a training at the restaurant. Okay, number three. You look tired? Help. You finish the document. Okay. Number four, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Okay. Number five, the owner will come to talk to you about training solution. Okay. Number six, he isn't working next week. Y esta es la que costaba. Esa costaba, pero porque mire, el, el apóstrofe lo tuve que poner en Word para que me lo agarre, porque yo lo ponía en la plataforma y no me lo agarraba. Entonces me fui a Word, lo escribí, y después lo copié y lo pegué y así me lo aceptó. <risa> sí. Son, son cascaritas de la plataforma. ¿Cómo? Welcome. Son detallitos. Sí, de son detallitos. Eh, mire, a veces, o, o, o mire, eh, que lo pone uno en mayúscula y es minúscula, y lo pone en minúscula y es en mayúscula. Así. Eh, eran, que teníamos que estar ahí como aprobando. Pero sí, ese, ese apóstrofe lo tengo que hacer en Word y después copiarlo. Si no, no me lo hace. Y yo, y yo me peleo, se Okay, yeah. yeah. It's coming. It's not working. Uh, only, right, chicas? <laughs> yes. He isn't working next week. Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. And finish. I. Como es? We, we finish. finish. We, we finish, finish teacher. teacher. We microphone. It's okay. I was trying to turn it on and it couldn't turn on. <laughs> Good. It's okay. You can practice. All right. Okay. 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 Um, Good July. Something to drink. Yes. Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Okay. La otra. I can't come with you on Sunday. I'm, I'm having a training at the restaurant. You look tired. I will, I will help you finish the document. Okay. Michelle? Ah, four. Yes. Ya me perdió. Ah, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Next. Uh -huh. Next is uh, the owner is. No, sí, bien raro. Sí, jamás no lo reconocí. Okay. He Don. isn't working. Don, did you finish? Finish, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, you can con you can continue practicing. No problem. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay.
Okay, uh, so did everyone finish? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. I guess I guess you had uh, you, you completed this exercise on the platform, right? Creo que ya completaron ese ejercicio en la plataforma algunos. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. I see. I saw the discussion on the group today. On the WhatsApp group today. All right. No problem. Not a problem. Okay. The most important is to understand the topic, right? Not just to complete the exercise. And I'm sure that in this moment, uh, you have understood the use of the topic. All right. And that's the most important here. Okay. Yes. It's not only to complete the work on the platform and that's it, and I have 100%. No, it's to, to use it, okay, and to learn the idea of it, yeah? Good. So uh, we are going to check then very quickly, but before we check, I will pass the attendance, okay? Antes de verificar, vamos a pasar asistencia. I will pass the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Very good. Joanna? Joanna was connected. Teacher. Okay. Lourdes? Present. Very good. Margarita? Mayra? Present. Thank you. Miguel? Present teacher. Very good. Nelson? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ophelia, she's, she's been connected, right? Uh, Osmin? Present teacher. Very good. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi. Present. Sulma. Present. Asalia. Present teacher. Indy. And Susana. Susan's being connected, right? I don't know what happened to Susan. She was practicing even. Okay, thank you very much. Now we are going to check. Okay, let's see. Uh, number one, we are going to listen to, 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 to Anna Michelle with number one, okay? Number two, Rafael. Rafael, you have number two, okay? Uh, number three, we are going to have... Um, who no participado? Díganme, please. Help me, please. Who hasn't participated? Who, Rosa? Darwin. Number three, Darwin. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rosa. Number three, Darwin. And number four? A decir, le va yo. Number four? Sandra, right? Four, Sandra. <laughs> yo, sí. <laughs> okay, number four, Sandra. And number four? Five, we have six, right? Yes, yeah, we have six. Okay, number five, um, let's listen to Sulma. Okay, hello, Sulma. Hello, Sulma. No, I think Hola, so. okay, okay. Okay, number five for Sulma. And number six, four, hello, Joanna. No, she's not responding. All right. Uh, so let's give it to Asalia then. I can see Asalia with her facial expression. I can see she wants to participate. Rafael, teacher. Who? ¿Quién? Rafael, teacher. Yancy is so quiet. No, ya le, ahorita Rafa was selected. Oh, yes, Rafa. Yancy is yes. so quiet today. Ah, Yancy wants, okay. Yancy, Yancy, you have number six, Yancy, then. Okay, thank you. Okay, she's too quiet today. All right, so let's listen to a uh, number. Okay, let me project it first. Okay, number one. Me. Okay. Okay. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Thank you. Number two. I can't come with you on Sunday. I 
I'm having a training at the restaurant. Good. I am having a training at the restaurant. Excellent. Remember, you can say I am having or I'm having. La forma corta, right? And let me write it here for you, okay? So you can say I am having or I'm having like this. De esta forma, okay? You can say I am having or... Okay, let me get the, the pencil first. Or you can say I'm, right? I'm having or I am having. Okay, thank you very much. Number three. Me, Edgardo. Okay. You look tired. I will help you finish the document. Excellent. So you can say I will help you or you can say I'll help you. Esa es la forma corta de I will. I will help you or I'll help you finish the documents. Okay, thank you, Darwin. Number four. The kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Okay, so you say is, is flying. Fly flying like this, right? Flying, yeah? Is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Thank you very much. Number five, the owner. Five, five, five. Who had number five? Aquí le dimos la cinco. Um, the owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. Okay, so the owner, thank you very much. Will, right? So will come to talk to us about training solutions. And the last one, number six. Uh, he isn't working next week. He isn't or he is not, right? You can say he is not. Yes. Or you can say he isn't. ¿Cómo les aparecía en la plataforma? Is, is not isn't. or isn't? Isn't. 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 Les aparecía la forma isn't. corta entonces, isn't. ¿ok? Isn't. Negativo es isn't, ¿ok? Para el are, you can also say aren't. Para el are podemos decir aren't en el negativo en la forma corta. Y para el I'm not, you can say I'm not. Ok, so in this case is he isn't working next week. Ok, thank you very much for your help. Y ahora no lo quiero hacer, no lo quiero dejar ir muy tarde, ok? I don't want to let you go so late, ok? I know these are the last days and I want you to sleep. Quiero que duerman bastante para mañana, ok? Para que se conecten a 5 a las 8. <laughs> para que mañana se conecten 5 a las 8, ok? Yeah. Los dejo ir con esa condición que se conecten a las 8 mañana todos. Okay, teacher. Thank yes. you. Okay. <laughs> teacher. It's time. Good night, it's time. Everybody. Okay, okay. Before you say good night, antes de que digan good night, algo que no mencioné al principio. Eh, obviamente lo del trabajo de la plataforma, sección 4 y también el examen final. El final midterm, el final term, okay? El examen final también está para mañana. Así que no es solo el ejercicio, sí. sino también el examen. Así que si no lo han completado, Mañana durante el día antes de la sesión. Mañana todos se conectan para hacer la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Ok, ¿Y, y a quién le corresponde teacher. ahora la sesión uno a uno? Me, teacher. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, everybody. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. And see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you bye. tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vamos a poner en baja a Ingrid porque no apareció Ingrid ahora. Se durmió. Se durmió Ingrid. La vamos a poner en baja porque no apareció. En baja. <laughs> de baja sería, right? De baja. Vamos a poner uh, de baja entonces. De baja. We are going to put her in the waiting room. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, um, 
de repente digo, le voy a preguntar al teacher cositas así como, como pronunciaciones, por ejemplo, o, 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 eh, o vocabulario, pero siempre lo hemos ido como en la clase, evacuando. Mm. Okay. De ahí pues no tengo mayor preguntas porque yo siento que digamos que ya termina la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y este a veces me, me funciona que sí con leer las instrucciones entiendo, pero a veces no tengo que esperar la clase. Pero en este caso lo logré terminar. Ok. Logré Venga. terminar la plataforma, ya está el examen, porque no me gusta ir corriendo, no deja, dejarlo a última hora por cualquier cosa que se presente en la plataforma, tengo el tiempo como para consultar y corregirlo. Es mejor, es mejor, es mejor. Ajá, entonces, eh, porque siento yo que a última hora me, me pongo muy nerviosa y de repente no puedo pensar bien. Yeah, you, you <ríe> para, get anxious. Ajá, para resolverlo. Pero de ahí, este, no, teacher, todo... Todo bien, okay. todo claro y, y, y solamente que, bueno, yo necesito aprender mucho más vocabulario para poderme expresar. Ya siento que, que puedo hacerlo un poquitito a como empecé aquí en este, en esta, en este curso que estaba a cero y, y de repente pues me sentía como no voy a poder, o sea, o, o a veces uno se decepciona un poco y no quiere seguir, pero siento yo que he aprendido un poquito. Excelente. Sí, es notable la verdad porque la vez pasada no sé si es con Ada, para, me parece que hablaba uh -huh. y si sí, yo le hacía el comentario a ella de que hay algunas personas de que le, les he visto el cambio como más, más notable en el idioma, es como más notable, ¿ok? Eh, y hay como, son como cinco o seis casos porque recuerdo cuando yo los, los, los tomé la primera vez y hasta dónde han llegado hasta ese momento, ¿ok? En el idioma. Así Entonces es. sí es notable el cambio, o sea, de, 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 de no expresarse nada a, a tratar de expresar oraciones en inglés, o sea, sí es notable. Y entre esas personas está usted. Entonces ah, sí, a Ada era que le, le hacía el comentario, me parece, en la sesión uno a uno. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, sí, son como cinco, sí está usted, en este caso está usted, está Ada. Gracias, bien, hay como cinco que yo, que yo los mencioné, que sí se les mira, el, el cambio es bien, es bien notable, está Gloria también. Son como cinco, no recuerdo muy bien los nombres ahorita, pero son cinco que sí se les mira el, el cambio sí. y se mira el esfuerzo, por supuesto. Sí, la verdad es que siento yo que eh, a veces por falta de tiempo, creo yo que nosotros como estudiantes tendríamos que leer más, leer es, y escuchar a la, a la vez para, para aprender pronunciación, porque eh, a veces, bueno, en mi caso, no sé cómo se pronuncia y, y lo, lo, lo digo como con miedo porque no estoy segura, ya cuando usted nos lee y dice cómo ya uno agarra, yo agarro seguridad para leer, entonces esto me ha ayudado bastante y, y si le digo, ya puedo pensar un poquito más, ya, ya me rebusco por unir palabras, o sea, cosa que antes no podía, ¿verdad? Podía, sí. siento que es más práctico para mí escribirlo, me gusta escribir, el, el, el estar llenando porque también siento que aprendo a escribirlo, pero lo más importante es poderles entender cuando hablan y poderme expresar. Así que sí. siento yo, yo siento que, que, que me siento como menos frustrada y más entusiasmada a seguir. Excelente. Ese es el primer, es. Ese es el primer paso. O sea, el primero empiezo como a entender un poquito uh -huh. y luego empiezo a producir porque es un proceso. O sea, no es que de la sí, noche es. a la mañana esto pasa, sino que es un proceso. Que, que, sí. que uno tiene que pasar cuando está aprendiendo un segundo idioma. Sí, y como le digo, yo a mi, a mi, a mi edad, yo allá me gradué por 1991, 92, donde, bueno, vengo de una escuela de esas de, de cantoncito que no le dan a uno nada de inglés y no había estudiado para nada, para nada. Entonces sí tenía el deseo de hacerlo, pero ya cuando empezamos y que le estén hablando todo a uno y uno se queda... ¿Qué dijo? Sí, lo Ahora yo, yo, yo trato la manera de, de concentrarme para poderle entender qué está diciendo entre eso. No es que capto todo, pero algo tengo una idea. Así es. Sí, la idea es que en cada nivel se va usando vocabulario diferente también al momento de hablar, ¿verdad? En este caso, uh -huh. mi persona. Uso sí. vocabulario que yo siento que me pueden entender. O sea, sí les hablo inglés, pero trato de usar vocabulario que está en digamos, en el, en, en el vocabulario que ustedes usan frecuentemente o que aparece en el manual frecuentemente. 
Uh -huh. Correcto. Y lo otro que siento, Tiche, que nos ayuda es cuando usted nos manda a trabajar en grupo y que sí estamos trabajando. No estamos hablando. <risa> <risa> este, pero, eh, siento yo que el hecho de estar pronunciando, estar practicando, nos ha ayudado. El hecho también de estar sacando vocabulario y buscando los significados también nos ayuda porque estamos como concentrados en eso. Uh -huh. Así que... Por mi parte, pues solo agradecerle la paciencia y todo el, el esfuerzo que hace, It's ¿verdad? Okay. Porque Bravo. nosotros aprendamos y, 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 y agradecida. It's okay, it's my pleasure. Okay. Lo hago con mucho placer y cariño. Sí, yo sé, teacher, así que muchísimas gracias. Así ok, que, ok. Por Thank mi parte you. todo y ya tengo todo, todo, todo listo de mis tareas. Me siento satisfecha por haberlo logrado. Y mañana pues esperarlo la clase final y, la, y el llenado de la encuesta. Yes, perfect. Excelente, entonces. Great, Dad. Sí. Ok, bien, thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Dan Angela. If you have no questions, so thank you very much for staying and for connecting. Thank you, teacher. Así ok, que, thank you. Good night. Uh, nos vemos mañana. See okay, you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ok, yes. see you tomorrow. Ok, goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. teacher. Bye, bye. Mm-hmm.